Hello, baseball fans, and welcome. Double-A Baseball on the show, coming your way. It's the Corpus Christi Hooks taking on the Midland Rockhounds. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. So two down, and now here's a speed threat. Outfielder, Buddy Muddy. What a season it's been for him. He has supplied a lot of power and that average. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. He flexes his power with that swing, his 16th homer of the year. It's 1-0. He put a charge into that one. That was a lightning swing right there, no doubt about it. I never I think had, he had a sight like set on that pitch. He went and got it and circled the bases. Like just starting off with none of my plan. None at all. <laughs> so the lineup flips the over. And now the, the center buddy, fielder, Jordan Brewer, off, struck out swinging his first time. Like this. I was usually the just. The wind of the pitch. Now fly ball to right doubles. center. It's still in bases. And puts the squeeze on that one. And that is that. A lot of times I was a pitcher, too, so. I was focusing on pitching a lot, but, yeah. Buddy Muddy, get him out of these weak double-A now, man. Get him out of there now. Mike off. Cleveland Browns down Welcome back. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And stepping in is the speedy Buddy Muddy. Boog, this guy's just a tremendously talented center fielder. Gold glove caliber type out there. Offensively, he can do some things, but you know, also has some streakiness as well. I think the key is just trying to find a way for him to be consistent day in and day out. You know, he saves runs in the outfield, so that's going to buy him more time to work things out at the dish. Hanson, back to work. Out to short, and it finds its way through for a hit. Off to a good start with a leadoff nod. Oh, no waiting around right there. He was no ready right to fielder. swing it on the first pitch. He kind of rolled right. over on this pitch a little bit, but he got yeah. enough behind it to shoot it through for a knock, and you'll take that any time you can get him to find a hole. So now it's the four-hole hitter, Greg Dykeman. 0 for 1 so far. If he hangs it, you bang it, kid. Here you go. And he walked him. Heads out. Ball four. That just came apart right there. Four pitch walk and now guy at the play was not going to help him out by swinging Trenton. at something out of the zone. Trenton Brooks now at the plate. The walk and a run scored his first time. All right, one time right here, kid. The pitch. Hit on the ground might be two. One at second. On to first double play. I think there's always something pretty about watching a 5-4-3 double play get turned. I mean, just seeing the ball whipped around the diamond with quickness and accuracy, that was nice. And yeah, the batter now, number 20. One for one with a single and a run scored so far. Can't connect on the curveball, struck him out. One hit, one left. On to inning number four. The Rockhounds out front here, four to nothing. Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Buddy Muddy. He's already homered here in this one. Ripped on a line. That's a base hit. Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. Well, Singy, he is locked in there. Well, he's really slowed the game down, and it's like he's moving in full speed, and everybody is a step or two behind. The way that he squared up that baseball tells me that he is seeing it like a beach ball. Muncie, the lead runner out at second. Muddy at first, one gone. 
Hey, let's go, big fella. Goes down swinging for the strikeout. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. Well, did he no, get the call on the mound the First pitch before? Race, Felt like he should have had him looking, I think. But, you know, that's good composure right there. He found a way to come back with another good pitch to get him to swing and miss. Hey, kids, see it. Drive it like you can. Let's go. In the air, left field. Adolf under it. He makes the grab. And that is that. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and two are left. Five innings complete. The Rockhounds have the advantage, four to one. Back here at the ballpark, and here's the first baseman, Ryan Clifford. The hooks in striking distance. but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the laid off man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. Here's a high fly ball out to center. Muddy drifts towards it. Makes the grab one away. First and second, two down. And
Now the right fielder, Quincy Hamilton. One for three. And now the 01. That's out to center field. Muddy under it. Makes the grab, and that's the inning. New pitcher now, Ryan King. Now, pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. The pitch. In the air, center field. Brewer coming in on it. Brings it in with a nice running grab. And there's one away. 5-1 is how it ends. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Chompy saying so long. For the victorious Rockies, 5 runs, 8 hits, 2 errors, they left 8 men on base. Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining us. Minor League Baseball from the AA level coming up. It's the Corpus Christi Hooks taking on the Midland Rockhounds. And now, First pitch coming at you right after the break. All right, just about set to go. And on the hill, Gunnar Hoagland. What do we have on him? Well, he got into the eighth inning his last time out, really pitching deep in the games as of late. We'll see today how many innings he's got in him. And now here's Buddy. a speed threat. Outfielder, Buddy Muddy. Three hits last Muddy. night, so he was a big factor in getting that win. That one ripped. That's back there. And that is gone. All muscle to center field is 17th of the year. And that gives him a lead. It's 1 0. impressive how he was able to go down and get this fastball but yet get it up in the air hit it far enough to get out of this ballpark JC Correa will hit next catcher, number 13 JC Correa Out towards right center field, Muddy on the move to the gap. Snags it on the run. One away. Every day during batting practice, these outfielders get about 10 minutes of balls in the gaps. They practice this, and when the game comes. And now it's going to be Quincy Hamilton. He's 0 for 1. That's towards center. Muddy in position. And there's one down. The batter, the first baseman. One out, base is empty. And now here is Buddy Muddy. The solo homer his first time. Ground ball, left side. Fires across the diamond. Two down. Now batting. First base. Here's the catcher, J.C. Correa. 0 for 1 with a flyout. Correa. And the pitch. Hammered. And this one could be extra bases. Now he'll turn for second. And he'll pull in there with a stand-up double. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite. And welcome back. Top of the sixth inning. Here's the center fielder, Drew Gilbert. Hoagland back to work. Lifted in the air right center field. Muddy settles under it and makes the catch. Ryan Clifford getting ready to hit. And a pitch. Swung on, belted. Muddy on the move, racing back. Back some more. 
pulls it in on the warning track. Well, I didn't think he got it off the bat, but the win made it a lot more interesting. Than One down. Here's a speed threat, Buddy Muddy. That one ripped right center field. Gilbert going back, back some more, and it one-hops the wall. Into second with a double, and they've got something brewing now. Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. Center fielders in today's game are so talented and so athletic, so when you blast one to deep center and get it to drop in, you know you really put a great swing on it, and that was nicely done for extra bases. One out, runner at second. Next is the speedy first baseman, number 73. The 3-1. 3-1, and he couldn't come up with it. Second walk of the game for him, and he's been really patient at the play, a game plan that he's sticking to. He's just not going outside of what he's looking for up there. One and two here. That one back up the middle, and it gets through. Ball back in quickly. Runner holds it third. No, just a nice job coming through in a pretty high leverage spot right there. Good extension on that swing. Took the pitch on the outside part of the plate and drove it up the middle. He let it travel just enough. So base is loaded with one away. Number nine digs in now. Rolled a short, could be two. Kessinger tossed the second. What a double play that was. Inning over. So digging in, Buddy Muddy. He's already homered in this game. You know this guy's great speed is in the back of that pitcher's mind. If he can get on, it's going to give him one more thing he's got to think about. In there for strike one. No need to offer that pitch until you get to two strikes. It's just a low percentage of success when you want to try to go after that down and away pitch. The 0 1. Swings through that. Quickly in an 0 2 count, you've got to figure out a way to shorten your path to the baseball. Put it in play somewhere, then you got a chance. And the right hander deals. And a swing and a miss. Two away. We'll take a look at the three pitch sequence. We go to the ninth. Now it's the second baseman, Dixon Machado. 0 and 2 now. Laser could be extra bases. In safely with a leadoff double, go ahead runs in scoring position.
And welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. Some double-A baseball coming at you. It's the Corpus Christi Hooks taking on the Midland Rockhounds. First pitch coming your way next. All right, just about ready for baseball. And on the hill in this one, Damon Jones. What do you have on him, Chris? Well, because he doesn't have plus stuff, it's going to be critical that his skipper keeps a close eye on him. Second time, third time through that the order, four. we see the OPS jump the dramatically. Now the left fielder, yeah. Zach Daniels. Daniels. Hey, all right. Here we go now. The pitch. Into center and a base hit. And now they'll have runners on the corners with two away. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any hit. vibration in your hands whatsoever. Hitter. Such Blind. a good feeling. That's Legit. about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride and load out of the way. Stay hot, and baby. stepping that in is, is the speedy the Buddy fielder. Muddy. Buddy. Homered yeah, last Buddy. night added another hit as well. Out towards left center, Gilbert. He ranges to his right, grabs it on the run. And that ends the inning. Base is empty with two away. Ryan Clifford, the next to hit. Hitless last night, and they only scored one run. Swing at a ball lifted to center field. Pulls up on it, and that's a base hit. Batting none. The just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity. Right on top. That's Base is full, two gone. 12. Buddy Muddy Buddy. will hit next. Muddy. He's 0 for 1. Singy, you got to appreciate a guy who's this good defensively. I mean, watching him track balls in the outfield, it is beautiful. And first offering is fouled off. Two outs. Bases are full. Well, it stinks to be down by, you know, these runs early in this ballgame like this, but you've got two outs. You've got to close the door because you still have a chance with how much time is left in this one. Let's go now. One time. One time. Righty to the plate. Here's a rip to short, but he's there for the third out. Three runs for him here, and they move ahead. We head on now to the top of the third. The Rockhounds on top three to nothing. Two outs, yeah, runner run on down. first. That's and here good. is Number Buddy 12. Muddy. Buddy. We talk about guys Buddy. with good speed, and definitely he has it. But pushing the offense aside for just a second, Chris, it's the defensive side that I think the speed factors in the most. Swings through that one. 0-1. Oh, one. One. Well, he gets to balls that get by most people at that position. Just really impressive because there are certain times. Turned on, but that's foul down the third baseline. And what makes him even quicker is the fact that he's so dialed in on the pitch as it's moving through the hitting zone. He can see how that hitter's lined up, what he's trying to do, and where that pitch is going to end up, which gives him that really quick first step. And ah, the throw in time to get him, and that does it for the inning. One error in the inning, but nothing more. We played four. The Rockhounds out front, three to nothing. And now the first baseman, Ryan Clifford. Ryan Clifford. Out to center, Muddy under it. Puts the squeeze on it, and the inning is over. So no runs on no hits, no errors, and one left. To the bottom of the sixth inning. The Rockhounds lead it three to nothing. So the batting order the batting turns over. One. Now it's the shortstop, Frey Udi Snova. Lays it first now. One down, base is empty. This one in the air, center field. 
Muddy makes the grab. Two down. Now batting. Second baseman. Man at first. Now, now at the plate. The Buddy Muddy. Buddy Muddy. That one the other way. And a base hit. They get it in quickly. So first and second, now one out. Waste no time the there. Nice hit. job of driving that Rock pitch in. the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. So first and second with one man gone, digging in, on, number 73. Right here. And the Right, he deals. Out there to center. Gilbert makes the play. And there's two away. Next to hit, Greg Dykeman. One for three. Line drive. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that'll do it. Two left on. Eighth inning coming up. The Rockhounds out front here. Three to nothing. And next will be the cleanup hitter. Zach Daniels. One for two. Lefty continues to work, but the closer getting loose in the bullpen. into center can't get there base hit throw comes in runner stop second and third nobody out and he's got a double just a very nice approach and swing right there to use the big part of the field everything was on time he stayed balanced through the entire swing and just launched that one into center well with this sixth win in a row all of a sudden you start to look around up and down the lineup to your left to your right as a player and you say you know what we're good uh, we may have had some tough times earlier on but this is a good team and you start to the expect this kind of play out of yourselves we'll see if this translates into a longer winning streak than it is right now they left eight men on day. For the hook, one run on six in, two errors. They left 16 men on day. Time of the ball game, two hours and 36 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this evening. We remind you to please drive home safely.